what we're trying to do is introduce the autopilot system and we have a full variety of crafts that will fly rotor wing and fixed wing but introduce the autopilot for deployment to interagency for fire for beetle kill geological watershed search and rescue uh, on a thermal infrared um, we have been asked to take a look at tailings piles in the state of Colorado and uh, you know that's a good use right there but we're not trying to come out and do these things for everybody we're, we're trying to develop the platform well we've developed it we're trying to bring it to the public to where these agencies can actually use these things and get trained to be competent expert operators in a couple of weeks as opposed to years of crashes and it'll do almost everything a full-size helicopter will do plus a lot more for instance if you wanted to go up on the passes and mark all the avalanche chutes that we know about with the optimal drop location in the atmosphere you can take this helicopter up there and map that and log it in and then during a snowstorm weather permitting with no visibility if the winds weren't too high you can still go to that exact location and pin it on you can also uh, uh, fly it in dicier conditions and you might want to and tighter locations and you might want to fly a regular helicopter kind of a, a joint effort between uh, Viking Aerospace out of Lawrence Kansas and Heli Boys which is a local local entity here and what we've got is uh, Viking Aerospace consists of a couple of aerospace engineers who are uh, very skilled in the autopilot and uh, automatic navigation aerospace fields who have actually taken, with some senior engineers, taken uh, military grade product and put it on a level that the public can afford it and learn to use it. And what Heli Boys is doing is bringing that product from Viking Aerospace to the public, trying to develop programs for the deployment. Use specific training with uh, specific built equipment.